Dear learners, this video is going to help you to learn about one of the very famous inferencing mechanism available in the artificial intelligence. Deriving a new fact from the set of sentences in the knowledge base is known as inferencing. Resolution is the one of the method for inferencing. The other name for the inferencing is proof by contradiction and proof by refutation. This lecture is going to help you to understand the resolution and some of the example for the resolution technique. The procedure for the resolution. Suppose I want to prove any fact called the P must be true statement. We have to start with the negation of the P and take the remaining sentences which are in the predicate form has to be converted to the conjective normal form. After that, conjective normal form has to be resolved with the taken fact until you found the contradiction. If we found any contradiction that indicates that our taken fact is a wrong assumption, P must be the true statement. Throughout our inferencing, we will follow the unification technique. Unification is one of the method to substitute legal values to the variable in order to make two different logical expressions as the identical one. Resolution can be applied to the propositional logic also, but in our lecture we are going to discuss resolution technique for the predicate logic. You know that predicate logic can be also called as, can also be called as first order logic sentences. If the resolution is successful, the proof succeeds. Throughout our proving, we will follow the variable assignment through the values. These are some rules to convert the given predicate logic sentences to the conjective normal form. First rule, whenever there is an implication, we have to remove the implication. Suppose the form is A implies P, we have to rewrite the sentences as negation of A R, B. Second rule, suppose we have the negation before the predicate, we have to move the negation inverse, then for all quantifier will become as the there exist and will become as the R, the positive predicate sentences will become as the negated predicate sentence. Here we have the example, now the negation of for all of P of X will become as there exist X. P of x will become as the negation of the P of x. Third rule, we have to standardize the variable. How to standardize the variable? Each variable should represent one single component of that problem domain. Suppose the x is represents about the human being, q of x represents about some other object called animals or books. We should not use the same variable named x for the q of x. We should change the variable name as the y. This process is known as standardization of the variable. Fourth one, we have to remove all the quantifier. Very first, we try to remove the there exists to quantifier. This, this process is known as the scholarization. So, you know that the existential quantifier talking about, this fact is true for very few people. Some of the people in the group, so to prove that fact for which person or which object, the statement going to be true that object name we can directly write inside the x this process is known as columnization fifth rule in order to drop the universal quantifier we can simply draw because the entire predicate is true for all the elements of the domain all the values of the domain so you can substitute any values to the x so simply we can drop the universal quantifier last rule Suppose we have the combination of and over the r or r over the and, we can distribute to change all the given predicate sentences which contains only the r connective that is our target now. Now we will see how these rules can be applied to one example. This is one example now. Everyone who loves all animal is loved by someone. This is the sentence now. Now we try to write the sentence in the predicate logic sentence. For all the animal is loved by all the people. So, loves of x comma y. For all of x, all of y, animal of y implies that. Loves is a binary predicate. X is a person going to love. What is the element he loves? He loves the y. Y is the animal now. 
if this sentence is true that implies that there is some other people some other group of people who loves the animal lover so there exists in is said loves of is said comma x now you can see that carefully i chosen three variable for three different people one is the everyone who loves the animal so we represented by using x variable second one talking about the animal so we chosen the variable called the y third one talking about some other people who loves the animal lover so i chosen the another variable called the iser so now we take this predicate logic sentence we apply this cnf conversion to the predicate logic sentence first we try the first rule how to eliminate this implication first we remove the inner implication later we remove the outer implication p implies q can be rewritten as negation of p or q so negation of for all of y after that negation of animal of y because the negation of p it is not before the predicate quantifier so negation of animal of y or loss of x comma y so now the first implication is removed now you consider this entire sentence as the p take this as the q format p implies q negation of this p contains a sentence for all of y so for all of y negation of animal of y or loss of x comma y or there exist is said loss of is said comma x that is a q part so we apply the first rule now second rule we have to move the negation inverse the for all will become as the there exist suppose there exist it will become as the for all p will become as negation of p suppose there is already negation of p it will become as a p so now we try to move this negation inverse first i try to remove this negation say negation negation will be get cancel for all will become as there exist y so already there is a negation and now will become as animal of y r will become as and connective and the positive literal loss of x comma y will become as negation of loss of x comma y r so there is no negation here so simply it will become as negation of is said loss of is comma x here you can notice that this negation of animal of y only for this portion that doesn't play any important role here so that will converted simply as the negation of animal of y later we only we move this negation to the innermost portion so now we apply the second rule also this is the last term we got now we apply the third rule standardization of variable so already i told you i chosen the variable in a very careful format y talking about the animal x talking about the human being who loves all animal is it talking about the people who loves the x so no need for a standardization of the variable here and after that i try to remove the existential quantifier with a general form so better i replace by using scolar function why i choosing the scolar function instead of the individual name so now i don't know what is the domain values suppose i know that this fact i want to prove only for the ramesh i can directly ram write the ramesh name inside the there exist quantifier now i don't have any idea about the domain values for the safer side i'll choose the scolar function later we can replace this scolar function by the specific value so i'll choose the scolar function f of x here also f of x because there is a y here and i'll choose another variable here that is a separate scolar function i consider it as a g of x so at the rule is over now all the existential quantifier are removed next rule we have to drop the universal quantifier i told you the entire predicate is true for all the domain values we won't bother about any values to the universal quantifier simply you drop the universal quantifier now the sentence will become as animal of f of x and negation of loss of x comma f of x or loss of g of x comma x now we apply the distribution law so and over the r animal of f of x or the loss of g of x comma x and connective negation of loss of x comma f of x or the loss of g of x comma x this way we have to apply the 
rules in order to convert the predicate logic sentences to the CNF. This is a prerequisite. After that only we can apply the resolution technique. Now we take the, take the first example for the resolution technique. This is a very famous example discussed in your Stuart Russell book, Peter Norvig Stuart Russell. So that uh, paragraph tells about the scenario. The law says that in the America it is a crime for an American to sell the weapons to the hostile nations. Okay, that's the first sentence that we have to convert into the predicate logic sentence. What is a criminal act? For all the human, all the Americans who there is some weapon, for all the weapons, not only for one or two weapons, for all the weapons, to all the nations, suppose the person sells, sells is the now ternary predicate which takes three arguments. Who is the person going to sell? What is the element he is going to sell? And who, to whom he is going to sell? So, X is the American. Y is the weapon he is going to sell and Z is to the to whom is the host nation. If this happens, then we can conclude that the person X is a criminal person. Okay. So, sentence number 2 talking about the country Nono who is the enemy of America. So, enemy of Nono, America is the true fact and Nono contains some missiles. So, missile of M1 is true as well as no no wholesome missile is also true. And third rule talking about third sentence and all the missiles sold to the uh, no no countries only by the colonel west that is a person name who is American now. So, all the missiles owned by the no no country only sold by the west. So, if you know that there is some missile in the no no country. So, that will be sold by the person called the West. So, X is a missile and the country name is a no-no. And we, we are adding some additional fact also. Before that, the American of colonial West is a true statement. Two additional fact added here. We are dealing with the missile as well as the weapon. We should correlate the missile with the weapon. So, all the missiles are weapon that we should be aware. The next one. We are using two different keywords. One is a hostile nation, another one is the enemy of America. All the countries of the enemy of America is called as a hostile officer. These are some predicate logic sentences described about this above scenario. Now we try to convert the sentences into the CNF. Before that, what is the question now? We are trying to prove that Colonel West is the criminal, that is my target. That I want to prove by using the resolution technique. So, we will apply the rules now. First rule, move the, remove the implication. P implies Q can be rewritten as negation of P or Q. So, negation of the uh, entire predicate P1 and P2 and P3 and P4. So, negation of the for all of, for all of X, Y is a negation of the American of X and negation of F1 of Y and cells of X, Y is a and hostile officer are the criminal affix. Rule number 2, we have to move the negation inverse. So, the first literal will become as a negated form, and will become as R, second literal will come in the negative form, third literal will come in the negative form, fourth literal will also come into the negative form, and as usual, we have the R connective of criminal affix. Rule number 3, Standardization of variable, we already followed the standardization of variable x talking about the American, y talking about the weapon, z talking about the hostile nation. No conflict here. Rule number 4, no need for us columnization, we do not have any existential quantifier. Rule number 5, simply drop the for all quantifier which is suitable for x, y, z. So, I drop that. No need for the distribution law, we do not have any and or combination here. So, we convert that the first rule to the CNF form. Take the second rule. Already both are atomic sentences. No need for the conjective normal form. Already it is in a CNF. And take the third one. Negation of P or Q. Because it is in the P1 and P2. Implies the Q statement. Negation of P or negation of Q. Or the Q statement. Moving the negation inverse. Ne negation of missile of X. And will become as R, negation of ones of no, no, comma, X, 
are cells of best comma x comma no 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 need for existential quantifier now we have a universal quantifier so i dropped it okay what about this one negation of p r q drop the universal quantifier what about this rule negation of p r q drop the universal quantifier you can notice here i am not bothering about the variable here but we should be very careful x is talking about only the human being who is american so we should not use a x here here we have to use a variable name called a y okay that i chosen very carefully when i resolve this cnf and also that here the enemy of x comma america x is not a nation variable we chosen the nation variable as is that so we should be careful here replace the x with c is that and the american of west so enemy of no no comma america now we try the resolution so what is the first example we have to start with negation of p what is the p we have to prove criminal of west we have to prove so i start with negation of criminal of west so negation of criminal of west i'm going to combine with this fact what is the fact negation of american of x negation of weapon of y negation of cells of x comma y comma z wholesale of z and criminal of x we resolve this two we will get the resolvent like this positive literal and negative literal will be get cancel this is a resolvent for our understanding all the resolvent and taken fact in the blue color the consecutive normal form original fact i chosen in the orange color we take the second cnf form american of x resolve this two one fact is talking about american of x another resolvent talking about negation of american of west we should not consider this conflict statement so we remove this two statement resolvent is negation of weapon of y cells of s comma y comma z and negation of wholesale of z take the remaining cnf why can't we take this cnf form resolve this two one area we have a weapon of y another area we have the negation of weapon of x i resolve this two now the resolvent will become as this one so we'll take the another rule called the missile of m1 missile of m1 is true by considering y as the m1 through the unification negation of missile of m1 and missile of m1 will be get cancel now the remaining statements are negation of cells of west comma y comma z negation of hostile of z take this next fact and resolve this to one area we have a negation of cells of west comma y comma z another area we have a positive literal of cells of west comma y comma no no by considering this two i consider uh, is it as the no no then i remove this two cells remaining resolvent will be like this this missile of y negation of no no ones of no no comma m1 and wholesale of the z take the missile of m1 again and resolve this two now the remaining statement ones of no no comma m1 and wholesale of the z take the ones of no no comma m1 so now this fact actually in the negated form so that should be in the negated form because that is here it is in the negated form so now it is in the negated form so now you resolve this two we'll get the resultant state as the negation of hostile of z we have another fact called enemy of z comma america are the hostile of z resolve this two we will have the fact called negation of enemy of x comma america but you know that enemy of no no comma america is a true statement taking this two conflict one is talking about considering the x as the no no a negation of no enemy of no no comma america is a true statement but my fact tell that tells that enemy of no no comma america is a true statement taking this two we got some contradiction so my assumption is wrong what is the statement 
so criminal of this is a true statement for your understanding we will take the second example now we have some set of sentences describe about some triangle uh, idea about the triangle if the triangle if the triangle is a equilateral then it is isosceles if a triangle is isosceles then the sides of the ab and ac are equal if the ab and ac are equal then the angle b and angle c are equal abc is a equilateral triangle based on the 1 2 3 4 sentence our objective we have to prove the angle b is equal to the angle c now try to, we try to write the sentences in the predicate logic form so rule 1 if if then form a so equilateral triangle of some abc you know the triangle contains only the three sides i consider the three sides as c three corners as abc equilateral triangle of abc implies that isosceles triangle of abc if the isosceles triangle of abc is true that implies that side equal of ab comma ac is true we should be very careful with the predicate uh, which are deals with the first sentence to the second sentence we should not use some other literal name or changes in the spelling will lead to the error so what is the predicate we chosen for the isosceles triangle that we have to use for the remaining sentences also so i chosen the same isosceles triangle for the second sentence third one side equal of same side equal is it side equal of ab comma ac is true that implies that angle equal of ab comma ac is true Fourth sentence ABC is a equilateral triangle. So already we have a equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle of ABC is itself is a true statement. Alpha is true, alpha implies beta is also true. So what is the fact we have to prove now? Angle equal of B comma C. Angle equal of A B comma A C. That uh, that a fact I have to prove now. So, we try to convert this predicate logic into the CNF form. P implies Q can be rewritten as negation of P or Q. No universal quantifier, no existential quantifier, no negation, movie negation inverse, no need for your uh, distribution law. So, simply I convert it to the CNF. Same way for a second rule, same way for a third rule. Fourth rule is atomic sentence. No need for your uh, all the converted converting format. Directly write it as equilateral triangle of ABC. Why can't we try this CNF to the resolution now? What is the fact you have to prove? Angle equal of AB comma AC. So how to start now? I have to start with negation of angle equal of AB comma AC. Now we continue with the second resolution example. So we start with the fact negation of angle equal of AB comma AC. We want to prove that angle equal of AB comma EC. So we start with the negated form of the predicate logic sentence. Take the class and combine these two. What we can do? We can eliminate which are the facts are already in the conflict form. So you can remove this one as well as you can remove this one. So resolve this two. We will get the remaining statement of negation side equal of AB comma AC that I can combine with the existing fact negation isosceles of ABC or side equal. So one fact tells about side equal of AB comma AC is true statement. Another fact tells about the side equal of AB comma AC as a negated statement. We can cancel this two statement. So remaining resolvent will be negation of isosceles of triangle of ABC that I can combine with the existing fact. So now we have isosceles of triangle ABC in the left hand side class that I can cancel with my resolvent. So remaining will be equilateral of negation equilateral of triangle of ABC that I can combine with the equilateral of ABC fact. So one idea we know that the equilateral of ABC is a uh, uh, ABC triangle is a true statement. We got the resolvent negation equilateral of triangle of ABC. So both leads to me the contradiction. So what is the conclusion from this example? 
our assumption of negation angle equal of AB comma AC is a wrong assumption. So a, a angle equal of AB comma AC is a true statement. Okay, that way we have to prove. Now we continue with the third example. It is a very interesting example. Marcus was a man. Marcus was a Boombian. Boombian is one of the city inside the Roman country. And all Boombians were Roman. Caesar was ruler. All Roman were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. Everyone is loyal to someone. So people only try to assassinate the rulers they are not loyal to. So uh, we, have, we can define the not loyal to by using that uh, definition. Marcus tried to assassinate the Caesar. Last one is all men are people. First of all, we have to convert this scenario into the predicate logic sentences. First sentence, Marcus was a man. So, we can rewrite that predicate logic. Man of the Marcus. So, now you got some idea. Instead of that, uh, Marcus was a boomian, we can write boomian of the Marcus. Indian of the boom Marcus, that way. The next one, all the boomians were Roman. Now you can use the universal quantifier. For all of x, boomian of x is already in the predicate logic. So I can use the same boomian. For all of x, boomian of x tends to Roman of x. Fourth rule, ruler of Caesar. Fifth one, all the Roman. For all of x, Roman of x tends to loyal to the Caesar or hated him. Loyal is a binary predicate which it, which contains two arguments. Who is loyal to whom? Okay. So all the Romans were loyal to the Caesar. So X comma Caesar or hated comma hate comma X comma Caesar. So X talking about all the Romans in the country. Next one, everyone is loyal to someone. Now loyal predicate once again considers the binary predicate. Everyone is for all. Someone is talking about the existential quantifier. So, loyal of uh, x is say everyone, comma y, y is the existential quantifier. So, for all of x, there exists y, loyal of x, comma y. x talking about everyone. Why talking about the someone? Next one, people only try to assassinate rulers. So, we have a predicate called ruler already. We are going to write the predicate for people as well as the try assassinate. Why we have to use the predicate? Because sentence number 8 has the keyword called the trying assassination. Sentence number 9 have the keyword called the people. So, in the 8 and 9, we need the people predicate as well as try assassinate predicate. So, better I can use that predicate in the seventh sentence itself. So, that na common for all the people. So, people only try to assassinate rulers. They are not loyal to. You define the people of X and ruler of Y. Try assassination of the people comma the ruler. So, X comma Y tends to. The X is not loyal to the Y because Y is a ruler now. So, for all of X, there exists some special ruler people of x and ruler of y and try assassinate. Try assassinate is a binary predicate now. Who is going to try the assassination? To whom is it? x comma y. Negation of loyal of x comma y. Sentence number 8, same try assassinate. Now I come to know that Marcus tried the assassination over the Caesar. So try assassinate of Marcus comma Caesar. Last one is all man is it man we already defined through the first predicate all men are comes under the people category for all of x man of x tends to the people of y so here can you can notice so we have only two domain values two uh, information one is talking about the human being in the roman country another uh, uh, variable is talking about the ruler so we general human being represented by the x and that uh, ruler defined by the y variable so i am already in the careful format better we move to the uh, conversion of the first order logic sentences to the cnf form man of marcus is a atomic sentence so directly we can consider that as a cnf second one boomian is no problem third one contains a universal quantifier and implication we have to remove the implication p implies q can be written as negation of p or q universal quantifier simply we can draw so the class will be 
negation of p of x, phi mean of x or roman of x. Fourth one, ruler of Caesar, atomic sentence. Fifth one, we have an implication here, remove the implication. So, negation of roman of x or lyle of x comma Caesar or hated of x comma Caesar. The negation, uh, no need for moving the negation inverse, no need for standardization of the variable. We have only one variable here, no existential quantifier. Now we have universal quantifier. Universal quantifier you can simply drop. So I can rewrite the sentence as negation of Roman of x, lyle of x comma c sir, hate of x comma c sir, lyle of x comma c sir. I change the universal quantifier as the nothing. An existential quantifier we change as the c sir. Okay. Seventh one, now we have this predicate P1 and P2 and P3 implies that negation of the Q. Rewrite the sentence negation of the P R Q and moving that negation inverse. So negation of people of X and will become as R. Negation of ruler of Y and will become as R. Negation of tri assassinate of X comma Y R. Negation of loyal of X comma Y. So later we try to change the Y. Who is talking about that y? Why I have to consider here as C sir, is it? I have to consider this y as y as here as well as here. Because our attempting we are trying to prove that I write that as C C sir. Sentence number 8, try assassination of Marcus, Caesar. Sentence number 9, for all of x tends to people of x. So, I rewrite the sentence, negation of man of x or people of x. Now, we try to use this set of 9 classes in order to prove Marcus was not loyal to the Caesar. So, Marcus was not loyal to Caesar is a statement we want to prove. We assume the negated form of the Marcus was not loyal to the Caesar. So, I will consider Marcus was loyal to the Caesar as the my assumption. So, start with loyal of Marcus comma Caesar. Take the predicate. This is a class in our uh, memory. We have a 9 class. This is one of the class. So, combine this two and I consider the x as the Marcus and y as the Caesar here. So, one statement tells about the negator form, another one tells about the positive form. So, we can cancel these two. The solvent will be like this. So, for uh, further process, we take the second class. So, try assassinate of Marcus comma Caesar was already true. So, try assassinate I can cancel with my negation try assassinate of x comma y. Here also I unified that x as the Marcus, y as the Caesar. Remaining fact will be negation of people of x, negation ruler of y. You know that negation of man of x or people of x is already true. So we can cancel this two statement, people of x with the negation people of x. So remaining statement will be negation man of x, negation ruler of x. Man of Marcus is true. Because we consider x as a Marcus, man of Marcus is true. So, negation man of x is true. So, both will be get cancelled. Next work, we get the resolvent as negation ruler of y, negation ruler of y, I will take the ruler of Caesar, both the sentence will be true. So, both will be get cancelled now. So, it leads to me a contradiction. So, what is the conclusion now? My assumption of loyal of Marcus, Caesar was wrong. So, the negated form of loyal of Marcus, Caesar was true. So, Marcus was not always loyal to the Caesar.
so this is a way you can prove the resolution this you can try it as exercise uh, this fact tells about all people who are not poor and uh, smart tends to happy those people who read are smart uh, john is a person who can read and he is not poor happy po people have the exciting lives now we have to prove that can anyone be found in the domain with the exciting life you know that we are dealing with only one human being who is called john so we have to prove that exciting life of john will be true so for that you have to convert the sentences into the predicate logic later we have to convert that into the conjugate normal form after that you assume the negated of exciting life of john resolve with the remaining fact if you get the contradiction your assumption is wrong the exciting life of john will be happy you you can try it as a exercise thank you